there guys, Coaster Chal here, Doncaster born but built for theme parks and welcome to a theme park newsroom update where today we've got a very exciting, very exciting uh, piece of news from Six Flags Over Georgia. Uh, now we're going to be looking at some site clearance for a massive 2022 edition, what looks to be an edition for 2022. So we're going to show you uh, the site in question, talk about the two rides that have been removed in this plot of land ready for this, uh, what looks to be a brand new edition, share my thoughts on what I think could go there and share my thoughts on what type of ride I think will be in this site. So. Before we get started with all of this, guys, please like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Also, guys, go and check out the uh, description down below for social media links, uh, Google Forms, where you can submit your own video ideas. And also, guys, it's really important that you do like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell because we are on the road to 3,000 subscribers. We're getting towards the halfway point nearly, and uh, we're almost there. We're also on the road to 1 million views. The goal by the end of this year is to hit at least 4,000 subs and a million views. So please, 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 make my dreams come true and by the way comment of the day on the previous videos goes to a guy that says forget ITV about theme parks Coaster Chal's your boy so thank you very much for that shout out to ITV because they do amazing work um, you know uh, Josie on this morning riding roller coasters day after day on this morning she does an incredible amount of work and uh, they do amazing work covering theme parks but I really appreciate that comment so thank you very much and for now let's have a look at exactly what's going on at Six Flags over Georgia so there are two rides in this question well, technically three because we've got obviously the the sky buckets, the 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 cable cars that was removed there as well. Obviously, that sort of line connected one end of the park to the other. So technically, that's been removed as well. But two rides specifically, attractions in this plot of land. Uh, you've got Splash Water Falls, which is the shoot the shoots ride, and of course the family friendly Intamin Flying Dutchman Bugs Bunny High Sea Adventure, which has also been ripped out, uh, as you can see on screen right now, by the current state of the kids swing site, the Flying Dutchman site, uh, it's been completely cleared out. Now obviously in terms of the site from a Google Maps point of view, which is on your screen right now, fan dabby dozy, um, you can see it's quite a, an interesting plot of land. I think there's only one type of coaster that you could see from a Google Maps point of view that could go into this site, but I do have three different coaster ideas and I'm going to share them with you right about now. So I want to say a massive thank you to Galaxy Defender, uh, who, who took the photos, and it was Thrill Quirk that sent them over to me via Instagram. But that, ladies and gentlemen, Thrill Seekers of All Ages, that is looking at what's going on at Six Flags Over Georgia. Now, you saw the site. You saw the Google Maps image. You saw what it was looked like. Now, it's an interesting plot of land, is it? It's a very thin plot of land. Now, I think there's three types of roller coasters that I could see coming into this plot of land. And I say roller coaster because I do think this is the site, the prime site for a brand new roller coaster. And I know that during July and August they're going to start work on this. Number one, and I think this is the most likely possibility in my opinion, a Max Force style launch coaster, an SNS air launch, compressed air launched roller coaster. Now we saw that with Max Force at Six Flags Great America a few years ago. Uh, I can't be able to send a few years ago. It feels like yesterday it was announced. Uh, <laughs> um, I think these last two years have just gone by really, really quickly. But um, yeah, Max Force, an SNS air compressed launch coaster. Now, Max Force is an amazing looking ride. I haven't had the chance to experience it yet, but it looks amazing. America fans, review it. Tell me what it tell me what it's like, uh, and then I can go out there in the future and experience it myself. But basically, this looks. An amazing possibility, I'm not going to lie to you, I think that the land is very Max Force style, I think it's primed for that type of ride. Um, I think that a multi-launch um, well, a, a launch coaster, a, a sort of circuit, a small footprint launch coaster is perfect for the park as well. Um, and I think that it'll be a great ride for the park as well. Now, this sort of, and this also ties into a couple of things. Now. Obviously last year we released, about nearly a year ago now, we released a video and it was a video about some rumours about some new attractions for Six Flags. Now we talked in that video about three rumoured roller coasters, an RMC Raptor, which we now know is to be Magic Mountain, um, a SNS follow-up to Max Force and a Premier Coaster Project. So 
I think this ties up with that rumour, and also don't forget, back when the channel was first kicking off a couple of years ago, about, well, I think it's nearly three years ago, uh, in a couple of months, in a few months time it'll be three years old, but we talked in that video about how Over George was rumoured to get a free spin and then a Max 4 style launch coaster in back to back years. It, does it tie back in with that rumour from a couple of years ago? It, it, it's starting to join the dots up now. You know, a couple of years down the line, we're starting to join the dots up with that one. My second possibility is the free spin. Now, obviously, it's not the biggest, in my opinion, so I don't think it'll be... Because it, it doesn't take up most of the footprint. It only takes up a section, which the other ones can be used for just putting, you know, greenery and trying to fill the land up. So, obviously, in terms of footprints, it is the smallest of the three possibilities. Uh, and I don't think that the free spin... W I mean, I predicted the free spin would go into that site at some point over the last year, but I think I've sort of changed my perspective on this now, looking at this, the kind of land that's being cleared for this. And I think that a free spin will go somewhere else in the park. But I still think the rumour is still alive about free spin going to Ever Georgia in the future. So I think it's coming no matter what, but I think it'll be in a different year. But the third possibility, and I might be mad with this, but I'm thinking a Mac Power Splash, because you've got to think, Splash Water Falls is a water coaster, a shoot the shoots right. Bugs Bunny High Sea Adventure is a Flying Dutchman theme to a piratey Looney Tunes kind of theme related to water. So, I think that a map power splash would be the route to go down on the water basis and the fact that water's in the DNA of those sites, obviously with theme for the kids' ride with the actual water used for the splash waterfalls. So, I think that a map power splash isn't completely out of the question, but my only concern with that is the fact that Ackerman Power Wave is opening next year over Texas. Do I think they'll go for another power splash after they've just delayed the, the other one that was supposed to open in 2020 to 2022 now? So... I don't think it's a power splash. I think it's between the free spin and the max force. And I'm going to go with the max force star launch coaster. Uh, but there we go, guys. Thank you very, very much for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Share your thoughts. Comments down below. What do you think is going to happen to this? Again, massive shout out to Thrill Quirk for sending me uh, Galaxy Defender's uh, pictures uh, from over Georgia yesterday uh, from the site clearance. Uh, obviously, it's sad to see a kid's ride like Bugs Bunny Heisty Adventure go, a classic flying Dutchman attraction. And obviously, Splash Waterfalls, that's been closed for about a year or so so now uh so it's very very sad to, to see these closures but here's to 2022 i think over georgia will have their year next year uh, but there we go guys thank you very very much my name is coast shell keep living the coast life i'll see you guys next video very very soon take care guys have a six flags tastic day